Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asan. And today we are going to make column background colorful width, but content of column not exceed website layout width and content show inside website layout width in Elementor WordPress. Before starting work, it's my request. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So this is our column layout and we are using two column which has equal width 50% for column 1, 50% width for column 2. So I change some text. This is column 1 and column 1 width is 50% and this is our column 2 and column 2 width is 50%. So both column has equal width and we are going to make background color full width but content not exceed website width layout. So our website layout width is 1200 px. Now go to edit elementor. Now you see edit container. So click on it. On left side you see layout and then in layout container you see container layout flex box and then you see content width box and width 1200 px. So if we make content width full width 100% and then click on update. Now update done. Go to Elementor page and refresh the page. Now you see container is full width but you see some padding. Go to edit Elementor again. Now you see advanced so click on it. So we are in edit container and then you see padding. So uncheck link value or together now 0 and then click on update again. Now go to elementor page again and refresh the page. Now you see both column cover full width but you see content exceeds the website layout. Our website layout width is 1200 px. If we reduce the screen size control minus. Now you see not looking good. So we are going to fix it. So this is what we will do. So this done I already on another website. Now reduce the screen size. Now you see column background cover full width but content of column not exceed website layout. So we are going to do this column content not exceed website layout. Now go to website. Go to edit elementor. Now duplicate. Now click on edit container. Now make it box. Now add some margin. Now click on update. Now go to Elementor page again and refresh the page. So this is we have container currently. Now we are going to make background color full width. Now back to edit Elementor. So now we are going to create column background color full width. So we are going to add new container. Now you see plus icon. So click on it. And then you see flex box. Now select and then you see select your structure. So we are going to select two column layout. Now select. Now our new container added and then you see edit container. So click on it and then on left side you see layout style advance and then in container you see content width. Now select full width. Go to advance and then you see padding. Now uncheck link value together 0 px padding for new container. So we are going to add some margin to differentiate. Now uncheck. Now add some margin 100px on top. So we added margin because we are going to differentiate all container we have in page. So this is our new container and then you see column. So click on edit container. So we are using equal column layout 50% width for both column. Now you see and then go to style and then we are going to add background color background type. Now black again click on edit container. This is our another column. Now go to style and then you see background type. Now add background color. First we are going to add some container nested container or inner container. Now click on it and then you see layout container. Now drag and drop like this. So we are adding another container within container. Again click on it. Now you see container. So drag and drop. So we added to another container. So this is like nested container. So we are going to add some content. So we added some content. Now you see container. So click on edit container. Now you see container layout flex box content width box. Now go to advanced. So we are going to add some padding. Now 40 top, 40 px bottom, 20 px right and left. So we are going to add padding on this column too. Now you see we select inner container. So click on edit container. Go to advanced. Now we are going to add padding like same we added column 1 20px top bottom 
20 px right or left. So, now we are going to add some CSS class and custom CSS to make background color full width, but content not exceed website layout. So, our website layout width is 1200 pixel or px. Now, first click on navigator. So, this is our navigator layout. First, we are going to add custom CSS class for nested container we have. So, this is our column 1 nested container. So, click on edit container and then we are in advanced and then scroll down you see CSS class. So, you can add CSS class name according to requirement now paste. So, we added half hyphen section for column 1. Now, copy this go to nested container column 2. So, this is our nested container or inner container for column 2. So, click on edit container. So, we are in advanced and then scroll down you see CSS classes now paste. So, we added same CSS class for both nested container half section because we are using two column layout for 50 percent width. So, that is why we are using same CSS class for column 1 nested container and column 2 nested container because both column widths are 50 percent. So, that is why we are using same CSS class. Now, go to main edit container. So, this is our main edit container. So, click on it and we are in advanced and then scroll down you see CSS classes. So, we are going to add CSS class name now bg content 1. So, you can add CSS class name according to your requirement. Now, go to another main edit container. So, click on it and then we are in advanced and scroll down in CSS class add bg content 2. So, we added different class name for both main edit container but we added same CSS class for both nested container. Now, click on publish. Now, publish done go to customize section and we are in additional CSS. So, we are going to add custom CSS. Now, paste and you will find all CSS in video description or in comment section and we are going to add more CSS. Now, you see we added custom CSS class dot half hyphen section. So, we added this custom CSS class on both nested container and then you see width 600 pixel, maximum width 600 pixel, minimum width 600 pixel. We added 600 pixel because our website layout width is 1200 pixel. So, that is why we added 600. So, you can divide your website width by 2. Our website layout width is 1200 pixel and we divide it by 2 and we get number 600. If your website width is 1000 pixel, then you can divide 1000 by 2 and you will get 500 pixel. So, you can add 500 pixel in custom CSS. We added 600 pixel because our website width is 1200 pixel. So, you can add number according to your website layout width divided by 2 and then we are going to add more CSS. Now, you see BG content 1 and then we added a line item end and then you see bg content 2 align item start. So, we added bg content 1 in column 1 and we added bg content 2 in column 2. So, click on publish. So, we added align item end for column 1, align item start for column 2. Now, publish done. Go to website page and refresh the page. Now, you see this is our first container, this is our second container. Our website layout width is 1200 pixel and then you see this is our third container column background cover full width but content not exceed website layout width now reduce screen size. Now you see now scroll up you see difference between two container now reduce more screen. Now you see this is our 1200 pixel width background color cover full width but content not exceed website layout width. Now, you see. So, this is the first container, this is the second container and this is the third container. Now, increase the screen. Now, you see. So, this is for desktop layout and we are going to add CSS for mobile layout or tabular layout. Now, go to custom CSS again. Now, paste CSS for media query. So, we are using media screen and then you see maximum width 1124 px and then you see half section. So, this is our custom CSS class and then we are using width 100 percent important minimum width maximum width 100 percent important. So, click on publish. Now, go to website again and refresh the page. Go to edit elementor. 
now you see responsive mode so click on it and then you see different desktop layout we have multiple layout now go to mobile portrait so you can add padding for nested container for mobile layout according to your requirement now you see now go to tabular portrait now you see content not exceed website layout on any device now mobile landscape now you see now go to website layout right click on it and then click on activate mobile view on this page now scroll down you see so we are going to change screen size change device now you see macbook air so click on it now you see on macbook air so this is the first container exceed website layout content now scroll down you see on macbook air our website content not exceed website layout but column background color show full now back to edit elementor so click on desktop or white screen so we edit css classes so this is our main edit container we added bg content 1 go to another container and we added bg content 2 and then go to nested container so we added half section on both nested container because we are using both equal column 50% width and you will find all css in video description or in comment section so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching